Hello everyone, it's Poppy Game here coming to you guys with a new video. And in this video, I will be discussing the Dragon Ball Xenoverse DLC Pack 3. So, a lot of you guys most likely thought that DLC Pack 3 is probably going to be like the down point of the DLCs, but if you thought that you are wrong, you are completely wrong if you thought that. Because most likely you thought that we're going to get like the leftovers from like Japan and all this stuff, but we're not. So, I'm going to start off with what's in the left hand corner, the red text. It says, the latest DLC pack. DLC Pack 3 contains a lot of goodies from DBZ Resurrection of F. So, for Casino F, Revival F, I don't really know what you guys want to call it, but I'm just going to call it what they call it. And it says, download this DLC to obtain Goku, Frieza, and even Vegeta's newest transformations. Or forms, I really don't know. Don't care. So, I'm going to go down to the bottom right by now. It says, number one, three playable characters. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. <clears throat> That's one. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and also Golden Frieza. I don't see um Jocko the Galactic Patrolman, but I still feel like we're gonna get him anyways. So yeah. And number two, which is like a high point for me, you get Jocko, and Jocko's a pretty cool character. If you ever read the manga, you like you will see he's pretty cool. I like him. I like his character. You also get Old Kai. Now I'm not trying to soup up anybody's head or tell you guys any lies. I'm just saying this is what I think. So it's like a speculation. Okai is most likely gonna give us potential unleash, and if we get that move, that would be like the best move in the game, like the best like transformation type move other than Super Saiyan, because Super Saiyan potentially is pretty much the same thing just for other races. So that would be amazing if we got that. That would be a part of my wishes that I made a while back. So number three, we have five parallel quests, and five parallel quests. That's like the most parallel quests that we ever got for a DLC. Cause DLC pack three, we only got I mean two, we only got three DLC pack. I mean, oh my god, three parallel quests in DLC pack one, we only got three parallel quests. So you also get thirteen new. Well, and also we I didn't see anything about any time patrols, so I'm guessing the time patrols are over with now, cause there's really not much they can add to it. The GT pack is over, so yeah. You also get thirteen new skills, and I feel like any new skill is a good skill, pretty much. That's what I see. Also, number five, you get one new outfit, and this outfit is Gohan's tracksuit. So, I'm most likely, you guys seen this, you're like, what is Gohan doing wearing a tracksuit? If you ever watch, like, the previews or um any screenshots, you see, like, why he wearing a tracksuit? Well, I kind of understand now, because he didn't have his gi ready. He has seen a tracksuit. Bang. Grab it. I'm out. i going to go fight now. So, yeah, that's pretty much why he has a tracksuit. So, I kind of understand now. So, you also, number six, you get one new accessory. Which is to Goma Scouter. And I don't find his scouter so cool. Like there's already like fifteen scouters in the game. <laughs> they don't do much they don't do anything at all to make you look cooler. So if this scouter boosts up your um basic attack by like one, bang, I'm buying it. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. So number seven, you get seven new Z Souls. And I don't really find Z Souls as cool anymore as I did when the game first began. But these people are probably going to do like, be much better because they're probably going to be like, Super Saiyan God, SS, Vegeta, and Goku, and Golden Freezer. So that's different. That's a whole different story. That's probably like a fancy souls you got going on right there. So back to the main text. It says, arriving from a godly dimension, which I think they're going to be referring to um, Frieza, of course, or I guess all the people involved with all gods. So yeah. But one thing that's also very interesting that I've seen is Vegeta Special Attack Gala Gun. So it, it said it is going to be majorly powered up due to the power of a Super Saiyan God SS. So Gala Gun is a very cool move. It's very fast and very efficient. It's like as good as a, a Kamehameha. So yeah, do not sleep on that move. If you got it, keep it. Check up on it when DLC Pack 3 comes up. You probably have a great new move. So anyway, that's pretty much some of my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. And if you also want to see my um my Dragon Ball Xenoverse um wish list, that will also be in the description. So yeah, don't forget to check those out. And also have a nice day, everyone.